Honda has a reputation for making cars that are safe, affordable, and reliable. But believe it or not, recently it ranked last in a survey among Honda car owners. Apparently, Honda's losing general appeal in consumers' minds. Today, we're looking at why Honda's appeal has taken a hit in recent times and what all this means. Recently, there was a study. More than 80,000 car owners were asked to rate their new 2022 model year cars on specific attributes like fuel economy, comfort climbing into the driver's seat, level of excitement when accelerating, and so forth. The point of the survey wasn't so much to measure reliability, but more about measuring car owners' emotional attachment and the level of excitement with their new cars. In other words, how much they love their cars and are still excited about them. Basically, it looked at 18 mainstream car brands and based on data collected, it rated each on a scale of 1,000 maximum points. They did the mass market and premium brands separate. Now the average score for the mass market segment was 841. But here's the interesting thing. Out of all brands, Honda got a score of 824. To put that into perspective, it scored below average. And not just that, it came in dead last. Believe it or not, top score for the mass market category was Dodge with a score of 880. Actually, this was their third consecutive year to achieve the rank. Apparently, Dodge owners are very happy and thrilled about their car. Or perhaps they're delusional. Either way, they came up on the top. Second rank was Ram. But here's the thing. Customers who typically are interested in Hondas are usually those who are more budget conscious and practical compared to, say, the type of person who goes for a Dodge muscle car or a Ram truck. I mean, if you're already looking for a muscle car, if you're looking for power, for the thrill of driving, you're already in a different mindset, and after you buy your dream car, you probably still love driving it. Whereas if you're driving a Honda, you're getting something more practical. So in a way, you have to understand that perspective when you're talking about car brand appeal. You see, the thing about Honda is that for years, it's prided itself in making affordable cars that'll last over 200,000 miles or more. Well, no one expected Honda to rank the best. Ranking dead last was also not expected. And that's gotta hurt. Actually, it's been a growing trend with Honda losing its appeal as a brand in general. That's not to say that Honda's completely bombed over other surveys or ratings. 2021 Honda Passport won Car and Driver Editor's Choice for Best Midsize SUV of the Year. Both the 2022 Honda Civic Suzanne and the 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback won the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's Top Safety Plus Pick Award. And Honda also scored the title of Best Overall Brand for its budget-friendly and safe lineup in Kelly Blue Book's 2022 Brand Image Awards. So here's a powerful question. Honda or Toyota, which is better? Depending on who you ask, you'll get completely different answers. If you ask me, both my good, simple cars. But here's the thing. These two car makers focus on two different things. Toyota has an edge when it comes to longevity and dependability. The data speaks for itself. Just look at the most popular cars like Camry and Corolla, for example. They're well known for lasting hundreds of thousands of miles. If you're looking for a reliable car that'll last a long time, go for a Toyota. Or if you want a reliable car that'll last a long time but has a more luxury interior and features, go for a Lexus. It's the same company. If you're wondering why Toyota makes such reliable cars, well, they've earned their reputation over decades. And there are several factors behind this. First of all, Toyota takes its time to develop, iron out, and refine new features, trims, and upgrades. It just doesn't roll them out as fast as possible. For Toyota, it's not about speed of rollout or quantity either. It's about quality. Toyota takes its time to test new designs and components. As they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Toyota seems to live by that. Toyota does peripheral features related to adaptive cruise control, Apple CarPlay, Android, auto and touchscreen infotainment systems. But you'll notice the company mainly keeps its powertrains and other core components the same for years and years. Then there's also longevity. Compare the lifespan of the average Toyota to the lifespan of a Ford or Nissan, and Toyota will always come out on top. Of course, every Toyota model is different, but many Toyota models are known to last over 200,000 miles. That's around the maximum that most other car makers can even hope to reach. Believe it or not, the Toyota Highlander has a reputation for regularly making it over 300,000 miles, and it blows other car makers out of the water. It just keeps chugging along. Toyota engines are known for being incredibly well designed and easy to maintain. And on top of that, they last a long time. Take, for example, Toyota's GR series engines. Toyota's one GR FE and two GR FE engines can be found under the hoods of many of its popular vehicles. These engines are famous for being simple yet cranking out powered 
Here's another thing that sets Toyotas apart. It prioritizes practicality and functionality over being fashionable and short-lived. Take the Prius, for example. Toyota's pattern has been to churn out simple cars that are focused on design and accessibility. That might not be the most exciting option in the market, but it'll sure be one of the most reliable. As a mechanic, personally, I always choose reliability over shape or form anytime. Toyota also has a defining edge. Put simply, you'll spend less money on maintaining a Toyota over 10 years compared to any other car brand in the same segment, hands down. It's as simple as that. Actually, I'll be posting a whole video to explain more about this very soon. On the other hand, Honda has a leg up when it comes to safety. That's what they're known for. So if you prioritize safety, you want a ride that offers good cargo space and road handling, then go for a Honda. Historically, Honda's also been known to make good cars that last over 200,000 miles. Their engines are simple and dependable. Generally speaking, repair costs are relatively low compared to other brands. Part of the reason is because Honda doesn't always come up with the newest and most modern technologies as many other car makers do. Some people say it's a downside, but it also means Honda parts are less complex to source and fix. Simple is a good thing. Hondas also have a very low engine failure rate. If you've ever experienced engine failure in your car, you know quite well that depending on the car brand or model, sometimes it could end up being cheaper to just buy another car rather than fixing the engine. Typically, Honda cars experience engine failure far less than other brands in the market. And it's the same story for Honda's hybrid, too. One study found that Honda vehicles have an impressive engine failure rate of just 1 in 344. I'm talking about a 0.29% failure rate. Honda is leveraging its years of production history. It's learned from its mistakes and streamlined and refined its car design. Part of the reason is because Honda has a very strict and intense quality control system in place. Before a car moves through the line, Honda's strict policy means everything needs to get checked by a real person, not by robots. Having a human perform each detailed check usually means fewer production errors and better quality control at the end. Now that's all said, there are some known common problems with Hondas. For example, Honda cars from 2003 to 2013 with V6 engines have been known for excessive fuel consumption, especially with its Accord models. Honda cars have experienced front brake rotors warping or premature wear and tear. Also with the Accord models, there have been reports of the door locks randomly locking and unlocking after 100,000 miles. Another common issue among Hondas is issues related to the transmission. I'm talking about transmission fluid leaks, slippages, and other related issues. Another common issue has to do with certain Honda dashboard display brightness levels fading and even going dark over time. One of the most problematic Honda models is the 2003 Honda Accord. According to NHTSA, NHTSA, there have been 1,984 complaints and reports associated with this particular model, more than any other Honda model. On the average, a Honda Accord will cost you 400 bucks in annual repair costs. In particular, one of the most serious issues in the Honda Accord is premature brake rotor failure. And if you need to replace a brake rotor, you're looking at around 400 bucks per axle. Another issue with this model has to do with its ignition switches and starters giving up prematurely. Accords are also known for their interior trim and paint issues. Then there's also electrical issues in the model like fading dash lighting, underpowered batteries, and stereo backlighting failures. The 2017 Honda Accord has been nicknamed by some as the literal pain in the neck. That's because with this model year, owners reported extreme discomfort from seats and headrests, which literally resulted in serious neck and back pain for the riders. The Honda Civic is a very popular car, but it comes with its own unique issues too. On average, you're looking at 368 bucks a year in annual repair costs for a Honda Civic. That's not as bad as the Accord. Some major mechanical issues with the Civic have included things like engine blocks that would crack, especially with the 2006 model year. Once that happened, it could cause coolant to leak and even cause potential engine failure. Similar to the Honda Accord, brake rotors have been known to wear down prematurely in the Civic, and transmission issues have also been reported. Many 2019 Honda Civics, for example, need a software update for the fuel level sensor to fix an emissions problem error that the car kept recording. There have been reports of electric parking brake problems as well as reports of air conditioning compressor leaks, cracked sun visors, Bluetooth connectivity issues, and peeling or cracking body paint. The Honda Civic also experienced a global Takata airbag recall because the airbags could dangerously and violently explode when deployed, or they could deploy too slowly. Then there's the Honda Pilot. Average yearly repair cost is 542 bucks for a Honda 
the pilot. Complaints with the pilot had to do with excessive oil consumption, but it's also had issues about electrical problems, transmission fluid leaks, and excessive premature brake rotor failure. The 2016 Honda Pilot specifically saw an issue where its fuel injectors were getting clogged along with gas recirculation valve and idle air control valve failures. Pilot models from 2003 to 2008 and also from 2010 to 2013 also saw defective low beams that were being caused by electrical wiring harness overheating. Honda Pilot models from 2003 to 2012 and 2015 also saw the differential fluid breakdown issues. When it comes to fuel injector repair costs, you're looking at shelling out at least a thousand bucks. And lastly, there's the Honda Fit. Average anti-road repair cost to the Fit is 390 bucks. The car doesn't have as many reported customer complaints as other Honda vehicles, but that doesn't mean that it has zero complaints either. Some of the Honda Fit's most common issues are things like premature engine failure, bad starters, power steering failure, and faulty ignition coils. Speaking of ignition coils, ignition coil replacement costs are about 200 bucks. Just like the 2017 Honda Accord, the 2015 Honda Fit gave many of its drivers serious back and neck pain because of seating and head Rests. On top of it all, Honda Fits from 2007 to 2010 had reports of cracked front door armrests. The 2009 model also had issues with body paint and clear coat wearing, peeling, and cracking. But now you tell me, do you think Hondas are still reliable? Which do you prefer, Toyota or Honda? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.